It's Lexi and Banks and we're back with Jackson from the Nightcat True Crime Walking Tours and today we are at, what are we at, West Temple and 200 South. That's right, southwest corner of West Temple and 200 South for one of my actually favorite but also probably the most morbid stop on the Nightcat True Crime Walking Tour. This is the Holiday Inn Express, which once was the Shiloh Inn. Are you uh, familiar with the Shiloh Inn story? I remember seeing the, sh it was the Shiloh Inn when I first moved here. I didn't even know it turned into a Holiday Inn Express. Yeah. <laughs> did you know that it is super haunted? I did not know that it's super haunted. Oh, well, I've got some stories for you then. Okay. So this actually was the home of a cult called the Family of David. They moved into the 11th floor and uh, oh. <laughs> I know, really? take a breath for a second. <laughs> We're not going to make it through this, it's I don't know. So scary story cult. Christmas right now for Lex. <laughs> So, Colt, they moved into the 11th floor of the International Dunes Hotel, that's what it was called back then, and the leader, his name was Emmanuel David, shared it with his wife Rachel and their seven children, that's seven, the 11th floor suite, which is too many kids in one room, that's a lot of energy for you. Absolutely. <laughs> but uh, they live here for about a year, they get behind on their bills about $30,000, which $30,000, 70s money we're talking, this is 1977, 1978. So when the bill comes due, Emmanuel David decides that he is gonna borrow a truck from his buddy, he's gonna take it up into the mountains, he runs a garden hose from his exhaust pipe into his window, and he takes his own life there in the mountains. Oh! Yeah, gruesome, yeah. gruesome already. This is just the kickoff to what becomes the even more gruesome crime here at the hotel. So Rachel- Give it to me. There you go, lay it on me, right? Rachel, the new widow, is at home, she's kind of grieving, and she has an epiphany. Oh, well, if our God, if our prophet took his own life, that must be a sign that we all need to take our own lives oh, no. to see him again. So she takes all seven of her children out to the balcony on the east side of the hotel, and she tosses them off. And she throws all seven of the kids off. Some, the older ones are actually willing to jump because they had been raised in the cult their whole lives. They were sure that if they got to the bottom, they'd meet their dad again. So the older ones are willing to jump, the younger ones get tossed, and then finally Rachel jumps and takes her own life. Right here, in the 11th this floor building? of this building. Like yes. on this side, they landed on this side where this bar is? On the east side, yep. In fact, this bar used to be a coffee shop, and uh, several of them had landed on top of the coffee shop as well. And this street was packed. It was a busy Saturday night. There were people Wait, wait, we walked up the street to get here right there. Yes. Like, we, did, we walked right they, through the ghosts. They <laughs> bounced right where we were. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you feel a spirit just, like, enter no, your body at any point? I don't point? want to feel I it. I did. I felt it. Okay. I felt it. Yeah, we did. We felt it. We feel the spirit here on the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, obviously, because of what happened here, this place is crazy haunted. That's the rumor, anyway. People say you can hear children's laugh up on the 11th floor and in the, uh, in the pool area. But since 1984, Oingo Boingo's Danny Elfman, you what? might also know him as the guy who does any music for pretty much anything Tim Burton does. Okay. Um, <laughs> now I know, yeah. <laughs> he has been an avid visitor of this hotel, and he says that he uh, has had spiritual encounters with the children and that he based a lot of the songs uh, for Nightmare Before Christmas off of his encounters here. Really? Yeah. So wait a minute, the three creepy kids that Those are in the Nightmare Before kids. Christmas yep. were from the Shiloh oh, Hotel, the Holiday Inn Express, like the... International Dunes Hotel back then, yeah. What the what? Isn't that wild? Yeah, so next time you watch uh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, just know that there's a little bit of a darker side to that story there. Hotel, <laughs> Motel, Holiday Inn. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> the things you learn on the Nightcat True Crime Walking Tour with Jackson. Another haunted spot to celebrate Halloween in downtown Salt Lake City, man. Jackson, uh, where do they get a hold of you if they want to go on the uh, walking tour? You can check out everything at nightcatshow.com.